Hi everyone, it is Friday the 23rd of December, it's the night before Christmas Eve and of course it being Friday, it's time for Friday Reads the Christmas Edition! I hope you're all really excited about Christmas. I am, I'm looking forward to spending the day with my mum and dad and my younger brother who's home from New Zealand for a, a few more weeks and obviously there will be lots of reading. Now I am probably going to get a few books for Christmas, I'm not going to lie because that's the way I roll, because I've asked for some books. I don't know what I'm going to get, but whatever it is, I'm going to be glad to get them because I love books. So this is what I'm hoping to read over the next few days. And all of them are winter Christmas themed because I thought that would be nice. So no non-fiction. I'm having a non-fiction weekend off again. So the first book I've got is Nora Roberts Catching Snowflakes. This is a bind up of two stories. The first one is A Local Hero. And that is writer Mitch has never seen himself as a hero but for the right woman he could be and as snow falls he finds himself drawn to Hester, the single mum who has moved in upstairs with her son. Before the snow melts Mitch has a plan to win Hester over and become part of their family and a will in a way. Sharing her beloved uncle's former home with Michael for six months was going to be hard for headstrong Pandora. They'd known each other since childhood and never got along. However, since spending Christmas together, they discover they have much more in common than they'd ever known. So, the two winter Christmassy stories, that's actually Central Park on the front. That's a drawing of Central Park. I recognise it. I recognise the little bridgey. Um, so I'm going to try and read those two. They're not going to be over long and they're nice, easy, quick reads. Nora Roberts makes some love. she writes some lovely romances. The other two are ones, oh, three possibly four. The other books you have already seen quite recently so I'm not going to read the bump. This one I hauled a long while ago but the, the next one I hauled only the other day and that's Mince Pies and Mistletoe at Christmas Market by Heidi Swain. I bought this one specifically to read over the Christmas weekend. Um, I've uh, you know starting tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow night, starting tonight, Friday and reading it tomorrow to Christmas Eve although I'm very busy on Christmas Eve. I have to take my other half over to his mother's and then it's my dad's birthday, so there's lots going on, but I'm sure I will still read it. Then if I get through those two, I'm going to read the book that came out of my um, Book and a Brew unboxing, which you, you saw, I, sh I uploaded that last night, and that's 2am at the Cat's Pyjamas by Marie-Helene Bertino, which is a lovely little hardcover with that lovely buttery, oh, I love the feeling of those cover again I've just obviously shared the synopsis for you so if you want to go and check that video I'll, I'll link it down below um yes yeah, so I'm looking forward to that one and just in case Christmas day is long and I'm awake earlier um I'm going to read another book now the reason I say Christmas day is long <laughs> is um my parents and my younger brother started a tradition when I lived away and it, that they don't open their Christmas presents after Christmas lunch and for us Christmas lunch is around three o'clock I've got plenty of time in the morning to listen to music and read books. So if I get through the other three, I'm going to actually read How to Find Love in a Bookshop, which I also hauled the other day, um, which I love. And in fact, there's a nice little blurb, which I missed, from the writer inside, from Veronica Henry. And she, it, on the front pick cover, inside says, I've always been a bookworm. I remember holding my father's hand and clutching my pocket money and trotting down to the local bookshop, adding proudly to my collection of Laura Ingalls Wilder or Monica Dickens. Every now and again, even now, every service in my house is smothered in towering to be read piles. Every opportunity I can take to curl up with a book is taken, whether it's in the bath, on the sofa or in a deck chair. I relish plane and train journeys, uninterrupted reading time. And even a long wait at the dentist. There's always a book in progress at my bath in my handbag. So I know it's really sweet. It sounds like me because my two be red piles are growing and I don't care because they're books. I'm gonna read them. So what does it matter if I've got a massive pile of two be reds? So I'm I'm really, really want to get to this one. So I'm hoping to get through those. I'm not gonna guarantee I'm gonna get through awful, but I certainly am going to try. I will start and read them as soon after I have posted this video or started uploading this video because obviously it takes a little while to upload so while I'm doing that I'm going to start reading my Nora Roberts. So that's my Friday reads for Christmas weekend. Like I said I am expecting to get a few books um, for Christmas so expect a haul soon. I can't believe 2016 is nearly over and I haven't been on booktube for long but I've been loving every minute of it. So if you've enjoyed this video obviously give me a thumbs up if you've read any of the books that I've mentioned. Tell me about them, I want to know. And don't forget to share this video and of course subscribe and I will see you very very soon. Merry Christmas and happy reading! Bye!